give an entire recipe what to do to find soda pairs, strong, strong soda pairs or extremely strong soda pairs and irredundant set. Irredundant set meaning you have to find one from each class which is giving you a simple compound. So we were able to give this recipe. Of course, that theorem on cyclotomic algebra was there with due to Oliver Derby and Simon. We added one more constraint just to tell how to find those pairs of subgroups. And we also gave a necessary and sufficient condition for a group to be normally monomial. Normally monomial groups were already there in the literature that a group is called normally monomial if every irreducible character is coming from a linear character of a normal subgroup. So we gave a necessary and sufficient condition for a group to be monomial. And uh, so we applied this recipe on several groups. We took a normally monomial group. This is Zp cross Zp semi-direct with uh, Z2 cross Zs. We took uh, one of this group and we computed everything applying uh, the theorem of Oliver and Elgin Simon that how to give the precise decomposition from the group itself. And there were several examples. For example, we also took a group of order P to the 4. Uh, there were uh, 10 non-abelian groups of order P to the 4. And uh, we could, uh, with the recipe we developed, uh, we could tell precisely for everything uh, the precise whatever decomposition from the prime P. How many are coincident here? 10 non-abelian ones. No, no, but, uh, Algebras can be isomorphic, right? Even if p to the 3, some of the algebras are not to be the same. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, the algebras. Uh, okay, here, I think we are getting different ones. Yeah. So you can apply this to isomorphism theorem in <laughs> algebras. <laughs> that for groups of order p to the 4, 2 groups, group algebras are isomorphic, even only if the groups are isomorphic. Yeah, that happens. They, all of them happen to be non isomorphic. Okay. Yeah, they, they are non isomorphic. The different sizes. So uh, we uh, then uh, went to the gap package. We saw the gap package with Alga. In gap, if you have seen uh, working with gap, uh, groups, algorithms, and programming, it's a computer <coughs> software for computations with group theory. And then there are many packages and um, several packages in gap, and there is one package called Vidarga, uh, which computes the Vidarga decomposition of group algebras. And uh, so we, we developed some new functions for this gap package uh, based on the theory which was uh, developed. And I will just uh, tell you, in the Vidalga 4.8 release, this was 2017, in Vidalga 4.8 release, there were these two functions. Primitive central item potents by strong soda pairs. This, this used to compute primitive central item potents realized by strong soda pairs. And then strong soda pairs that determine complete irredundant set of strong soda pairs. There were these two functions. Why I am mentioning these two functions? I will tell you. So in the Vedalga released, uh, Vedalga 4.9, now there are many advanced versions of Vedalga, released in 2017. We were able to push five more functions based on what we have been doing in finding the uh, irredundant set of strong soda pairs. For example, this primitive central item potents by STSP. This name changed because, because now this, this function is not there if you look at Vidalga. Now this function is not there. Instead of this function, you will see this function. But if you look at release 4.8, you have a older function. So this, this was a new function pushed up, primitive central item potents by STSP. It also computes the primitive central item potents realized by strong soda pairs. I will show you the performance difference, why it was pushed. Uh, we, I will just give you an, uh, a comparison. We took these many groups of order up to 2000. But our gap runs on groups of order 2000 very smoothly. So we took a sample of these many groups of order 2000. How we took the sample? That we took groups of each order. If for a particular order there are less than 200 non-isomorphic groups, we took all of them. Otherwise, we took 100 randomly distributed sample from that order. And this was a comparison. This was the old function, runtime. This is the runtime. 
he is the run time in milliseconds this was the old function was taking this much time and the new function the time was reduced by half because we had a set theory to determine the shoda pairs and strong shoda pairs otherwise gap was doing, doing a random check on sub groups to do that so the time was reduced by half so so this we were able to push and let me tell you this is a random sample but if you restrict on all order groups i mean restrict on soluble groups i wanted to we wanted to restrict on soluble groups so we took all odd order groups of order up to 2000 now there is a drastic drastic performance difference it is it is the one fourth reduction of time so this was the time taken earlier and now this is the time taken now so that was the kind of difference it made but if you take non solvable groups there is not much of a difference because our theory depends on uh, the computation with the normal sub groups we are inside monomial groups inside soluble groups there are availability of lots of normal sub groups but for non solvable groups it is almost the same so so that was the thing and then we also worked with uh, checks on normally monomial groups and so the work which i have talked so far has appeared in these papers um this is the work with gulgarni and pasi 2013 then with maheshwari and uh, this is uh, maheshwari this is the paper where algorithms were given and this is the gap uh, software uh, released in uh, uh, 4.9 version onwards so now i will come to more questions oh i i i to go fast okay so uh all right so now the story was that we added more constraint on a strong shoda pair now we are going to relax constraint on a strong shoda pair uh and and see the story what happens now our worry is previously our worry was how to tell shoda pairs how to find uh, irredundant set of strong shoda pairs now our worry is that if you take a shoda pair which is not a strong shoda pair what is the cyclotomic algebra which is brauer equivalent to basically a generalization of oliver and elrian simon theorems so we relaxed uh, the conditions on a strong shoda pair so uh, if you remember a shoda pair is called a strong shoda pair if i added two constraints that k is normal in h and the distinct h conjugates are mutually orthogonal something like that so what we did we relaxed this is the work with the uh, done with gurli in her phd thesis what we did that a shoda pair is called a generalized strong we added too many adjectives uh, earlier we added extremely strong shoda pairs and then we added we had no name for that generalized uh, strong shoda pairs that instead of going directly from h to g you go in parts you go in parts if you can find a series of subgroups of g such that hi is central in this and distinct hi plus 1 conjugates are mutually same condition but not in one steps in multiple steps we went see when when we got this result uh, this uh, del rio uh, the theorem uh, we improved he said i always knew that if you like something you repeat it every time but we forgot that so we forgot to repeat the same things which we like so uh, this is uh, if you apply those conditions multiple times of course every strong shoda pair is a generalized strong shoda pair because that was going from h to g directly but now we are going in parts so a generalized strong shoda pair so were introduced to that a, a group is called generalized strongly monomial group if every irreducible character is coming from a generalized strong shoda pair so this this work appeared in number of papers and this is the recent one with jyoti where we were able to do the computation of the cyclotomic algebra brauer equivalent to uh, the simple component which we were talking of but this the study initiated uh, with gulli and uh, we initially we got that the simple component is this multiple cross product algebra take a cross product take a matrix algebra again take a cross product take a matrix algebra at that time we were happy with that but after few years we we were not happy that 
this looks very strange too many cross product algebra we brower would say that there has to be one cross product algebra let's find one cross product algebra and that was our work done this was done with the gurneen and this i will not go into the technical details all i want to tell you is that in this paper with jyoti recently uh, appeared in february 2023 we were able to tell precisely uh, the cyclotomic algebra which is brower equivalent to this cross product algebra and uh, so this also gives you a corollary that if you have a generalized strong shader pair then the sure uh, sure index is divides this the index of ci and hi so all this depends on the chain which i gave but this improves the well known result that sure index divides the order of the group earlier it was no it's it's known that the sure index divides the order of the group so it improves that that result and then we also gave uh, a, a good <coughs> algorithm to tell uh, the z so this this cross product is given but what is e what is f what is the galois group all that you need to understand and that was made clear very uh, precisely in the same paper which has recently come so i will skip the details and so we applied this on several groups we took this cp cross okay so okay cp cross cp took semi direct with cp took semi direct with c2n this we proved that it's a generalized strongly monomial group and we were able to do the precise decomposition all the region algebras all sizes everything as far as we we given precisely the complete whatever decomposition Uh, again also for this group we have given this decomposition uh, earlier for this group uh, the gap package bedarga was able to tell the simple component but the method was to determine the strongly monomial characters of some groups as i told and for that the search was random and that is only for a particular group but now we have given a theoretical a uh, proof of this isomorphism that why is this algebra isomorphic to uh, this uh, matrix algebra over this division algebra i am just talking about one simple component here because the other simple components are coming from strong shader pairs uh, for which the result was already known there was only one shader pair which was not a strong shader pair and for which we had to work out <laughs> and so then when also there was a question on how big is the class of as i told you we moved from strongly monomial group to generalized strongly monomial group of course the natural question is how big is the class of generalized strongly monomial groups as compared to strongly monomial groups and this this work was uh, done in the joint team with dolly and uh, this is what we uh, proved and what we proved is that all the monomial groups known so far happen to be generalized strongly monomial and uh, it, it, it's it's really a challenging problem looks like a challenging problem to find a monomial group which is not generalized strongly monomial and so this is what uh, we we did and this is why we suspect that so um, A strong shader pair is a generalized strong shader pair. You know, all strongly monomial groups are generalized strongly monomial. So we started with this. So we were looking at what are those shader pairs which are generalized strongly monomial. So if H is normal in G, then it's an extremely strong shader pair. It is a strong shader. Pair. So we proved that if H is subnormal in G, that means if there is a subnormal series of subgroups from h to g then that happens to be a generalized strongly monomial that was the first observation so what you get is that all subnormally monomial groups are generalized strongly monomial so we also looked at this class of groups introduced by huppert uh, this was a class of groups where he proved that such groups are monomial uh, what are these groups he denoted it by the class c so we also denoted of the same notation so a group is called uh, in the class c if all sub quotients of g have the property that it is either abelian sub quotient meaning if g is a group 
and to the subgroup of G, K is a normal subgroup of H, then H, H mod K is called a subquotient of G. If all subquotients of G are either abelian or it contains a non central abelian normal. So, such groups were proved to be monomial, and so we proved that such groups are also generalized to strong And it's, it's a beautiful class, it's a vast class of groups, it covers many groups uh, monomial Frobenius groups, Kavina groups. Or maybe these are the monomial groups where all nonlinear characters have the same degree. Or maybe um, soluble groups with all elements of prime power order. Uh, soluble groups whose all silo subgroups are abelian. So all such groups were uh, proved to be generalized from monomial because they were in the class C. So so far we we have reached to this chart that generalized strongly monomial groups contain strongly monomial groups. They were known to contain a billion by super soluble groups. This was the work of Oliver and Elvin Simon. And so all these these were given that soluble groups with zero subgroups a billion, subnormally monomial groups, monomial provenial groups, chemina groups, all these were, were contained here in generalized strongly monomial groups. So we move further. I'll just take five more minutes. So um, we also proved in uh, this is again about uh, with Bulin after her PhD in the postdoctoral work, connecting monomiality questions with the structure of rational group algebra. Uh, we proved that monomial groups of order P A Q B, P and Q order primes are uh, generalized from such groups are soluble. You know. So such monomial groups are also generalized from the monomial. Subgroup closed monomial groups. Monomial groups, all of whose subgroups are also monomial. That is a generalized from monomial. Super monomial groups. Super monomial meaning that um, a, a monomial character is called a super monomial if every primitive character inducing it is linear. If chi is Induced from psi and psi is primitive. Primitive means that psi cannot further be induced from any of its subgroups, then that psi has to be linear. Those are called super monomial groups. So, such groups are generalized from new monomial. Monomial groups of odd order which are nilpotent by super solvable. From abelian by super solvable, we move to nilpotent by super solvable. A monomial groups with silo towers. Silo tower meaning that you have a chain of subgroups. Where the quotients are pairwise uh, not uh, cobra, orders are pairwise cobra. So all these, uh, why why all these uh, groups appeared in our work? We we searched the literature. We said let's search the literature on monomial groups where the results are proved that some groups are monomial. So. There, on monomial groups, the main question which was asked by Donov was that whether every normal subgroup of a monomial group is monomial. And they answered this in negative. We have two counterexamples. And those two counterexamples had even order. One of that counterexample, we proved that it is generalized from the monomial. Other one, we have not proved so far, so we can't say anything. That, that was, uh, we, we got tired at the time. So, and uh, then Isaac's conjecture that every monomial group of odd order is super monomial. And super monomial groups we have proved are generalized strongly monomial. And Lewis proved that if Isaac's conjecture is true, then all subgroups of odd order monomial groups will turn out to be monomial. And also, there was another monomiality question that all subgroup of a monomial group is monomial. Uh, Fukushima gave an answer in negative. And the counter example given by Fukushima also happened to be generalized from the monomial. So all the examples, counter examples we could see in the theory of monomial groups, they happen to be generalized from the monomial. So maybe you can pose a weak Isaac's conjecture. Isaac's conjecture is that every monomial group of odd order is super monomial. And now since it has been proved that super monomial groups are generalized from the monomial, so one can ask a weaker conjecture of Isaacs whether every monomial group of odd order is generalized strongly or not. So it looks like a big class and uh, uh, we, we are really stuck now how to proceed further. 
But we also improved the result of dead, that is soluble group. Dead proof that soluble group is a subgroup of a monomial group. Uh, we proved that is a subgroup of a generalized strongly monomial. And Gulin has recently been able to improve this result uh, relating the uh, Fettini uh, length of these two subgroups. So she has recently done some improvement of uh, this result, which we did. Thank you.
So my my father uh, he got scared. Maybe I am not studying. I uh, started wasting my time like all parents. लड़की बिगड़ रही है शायद. He told me, बेटा पढ़ना है तो पढ़ लो. नहीं तो बीए बीए कर लो शादी कर देते हैं. That was an alarm, but uh, I was I was not. I did not know how to study. I mean, there was a drastic change from school to college. I mean, the way I was taught, uh, the definition of continuity, the teacher just came and wrote down that epsilon delta on the board without explaining any significance of epsilon delta or anything. So that is how all the subjects were introduced at in class eleven. So I I thought uh, I what I did after the second house test, there were three. Months left for the annual exam, so I took all the help books of physics. Chemistry was I was better at chemistry, so I took all the help books of physics and maths and started doing on my own from those books. And I I got a fairly good score. I I was third in the college exam, so that was very good. But before that uh, final examination. Uh, my father till the second uh, midterm because I was not able to do so. My father said you should you should leave uh, this non medical and you should go to take admission. Those days after class eleventh you could go to uh, first Change year first year you could take that stream. So he said you go to take admission in a home science college uh, next year because my sister was studying there. Both the sisters will go together, come together, and he's happy. So his interest was that I should be safe, and that is it. So I said I fill the form. He insisted on filling the form. I did fill the form, but I did not appear in any counselling. So I had a big fight with my father that I I am not going to any counselling there, and let me complete this exam of class eleven, and I will do that later. So eleven was good. So I, I did pretty well in the. Final year. So in those three months, I learned how to study. So I did my own in class twelfth. So twelfth was pre-engineering. So I, I from my friends, I came to IIT and so on. So again, I filled the form because everybody was filling the form. But when the time came to appear for the IIT exam, I did not appear because I said no, I don't want to do uh, engineering. So then I, I then my mind was clear and by the twelfth uh, mid uh, my mind was clear that I want to do some degree in mathematics and so I applied for mathematics uh, at Punjab University uh, on university of mathematics. So now then my neighbor came to me. No 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 mathematics uh, does not have any future. You apply in physics because she was a master's in physics. So she did a lot of brainwashing, and she said, "No, you should do in physics." मेरे पादर की भी पूरी उसने brainwash करी कि mathematics में jobs नहीं मिलती. So you should tell her to apply in physics. So half-heartedly, I also applied in the physics department, uh, but uh, I appeared for the counselling of both the departments. That was on the same day. But finally, I took my own decision. <laughs> Mathematics department. I am not going to listen to anybody. So I took admission in the mathematics department, and now I got the best teachers of my life. So I never saw such.